Hi everybody, hi. How are you doing today? So, doing medicine outside, it's a beautiful day actually, it's not. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it, actually it's just right, I think. Um, so, anyways, um, so, and it, I slept really good last night, I was wondering, how everybody else was today. Um, just comment below the video and let me know how everybody was doing. So. Um, today I'm just kind of having a lazy day. Um, yesterday I missed, uh, making my video. I do apologize. Um, so, <laughs> yesterday and a really good day, so, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just wondering, How everybody's been doing, um, please comment below. So, anyways, um, so, I'm gonna pick up where I was at last time. Talking to all of you. So, anyways, um, so like I was saying, I was in middle school. I'm sorry. Okay, back up a little bit. So, when I was in middle school, it was again hard for me to walk and stuff. Um, I did, I kind of had people help me carry stuff, um, and then, so, I was in high school, and when I was in high school, my illness, um, <laughs> it started progressing, um, so, is so I, um, at first, I had a helper, like middle school to help me carry my books and all that and then I did start using a walker in high school so when I started using the walker in high school then um like, I had to ha get 10 minutes, uh, you know, 
10 minutes early on the class so then I could walk to my class because other students would um, be pushing and stuff in the hallway and then make it hard for me so then I started signing up for all my classes to be right you know by each other so I didn't have to leave them in the turtle. Um, but I had to use the restroom or something, and you know, um, my aide went with me just to make sure, you know, like, I didn't fall. Nothing. Oh. And then some. And then after I graduated high school, um, and. Like, I used the wheelchair, but I could transfer, you know, holding on to things, and when, <laughs> my illness, warm. I'm gonna call muscle dystrophy. So when my muscular dystrophy when I'm saying um when mm, When I was in, or I mean not in, but it started getting hard for me. Um, maybe after I have my kid, um, my feet. Okay, so my mom, my mom kept telling me, "Oh, you should not sit like that," you know. And I hate when people tell me, you know, what to do. But my mom tell me. Them for to help me, so I didn't listen. My feet started turning it inwards, um, so I wasn't able to transfer and stuff. Um, so when like, I could transfer and everything when I had my kids. And then I say he, and some was probably like, I say, three, I three years old. I. I couldn't bear weight. Um, or no, actually, 
I can be away until I was I I'm guessing numbers about twenty about twenty five then I wasn't able to bear weight at all. Um, then I, someone just helped me in and out of bed. I know, actually, I was able to get myself in and out of bed until it was about me. I'm gonna guess and say when I was about 30, um, then it started getting difficult for me. Um, I mean, really difficult. Um, I wasn't able to bear weight, um, so it was like a big life-changing experience, um, then, then, like, my life changed when so I met this guy, um, he was with me for, I'd say, 10 years, and he, he helped me in and out of bed then when, so, and stuff like that. Um, it was getting difficult of stuff, so, but I was able to cut, clean all that still. Um, so, um, I would go. And I had a job. I worked at um it was like it was um It was a telemarketing job. And then I worked at Metco. And Metco, I really enjoyed. Um, I wish that I could go back. Uh, that, that one. I make her, I really miss it a lot. Um, it, it was a prior authorization representative. I did the, like, people would call in and I would. Or, I mean, like, if the doctor, doctor's office calls in medication for a patient, then 
Um, I've been going to ask him a bunch of questions to get the medication uh, approved or denied or it could be or it be sent up to um to like um you would have to the medical director would say okay well this, you know, they would have to decide if it proved it. Tonight, um, anyways, then. Then now on I just broke up with them and now um a lot more um it's like with another person um they do, they help me and take care of me. So I really appreciate it. Uh -huh. That, but it's kind of difficult to live with Manaus. But I really enjoy um have being able to meet her. Um, so anyways I'm not able to transfer. So now since I am up to date I'm talking about my condition now. Um, I can tell you guys. So my hands, um, my hands are not seem like it's hard for me um to do stuff like a normal person, um, I will, like, okay, it's my nervous, my nervous, my nervous system, like, um, it's hard for me to pick up things, um, and when I do, I say drop them. It's not because I want to. It's because of my illness. Like, I'll pick up my phone. And I meant drop it. I don't mean to, but that's how it goes. Um, so, and then my other thing is, I take medication now. Um, so, I'll make a video about that. Um, by itself, you know, I'll do, like, little segments of, you know, things. 
so picking up things is really hard. And then when I, I like when people ask instead of going and doing something, you know, I like to be asked. Um, well, it's kind of like anybody would like to be asked. Um, but I like to have the same, same respect like anyone else. I'm so human. Um, I, I just need help when, you know, doing some stuff. So, it's not, I'm not, uh, and that ain't hard to be asked for. Just, you know, and I like it, like, I'm gonna use this for an example. Like, if you want respect, like, like, okay, it's kind of like this. When if you need something. And if I am, if I can hear you say my name, I'm gonna risk, say yes, can I help you? You know, instead of just avoiding, maybe. I mean, you know, because I would do like it if you were coming in, let's say, and I just totally ignored you all the way, you know, amen, like, then, you know, that just, I don't know, you know, that's, that's just wrong, you know, um, I feel if if you can hear someone, you know, needing your help and saying your name, that means the person needs help. And so, you know, going out, don't just ignore them, you know. I mean, that's, I don't know, you know, so. Anyways, um, I do hope that y'all have a nice, beautiful day, and please sub subscribe to my channel. And the ones that I have subscribe, please let everybody else know.
and watch my videos and like them if you like them. Alright, thank you and tomorrow I will be on the next subject. Thanks.